Good morning, good morning, good morning. What's going on, y'all? I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little rough this morning. <laughs> I know I'm looking rusty and crusty this morning, so, I mean, y'all, please do not judge. Do not get, go in on me. Uh, I definitely woke up like this. Today is Wednesday. What is it, Wednesday? Let me look at my phone. I always forget the date. We literally are within the less than a week countdown. So, yeah. We've got now, what, six days before she gets here? And um, I'm super excited that she's... It's It's just... I don't know. I just feel like I'm excited that she's coming, but I'm also like really anxious because I don't know what to expect with her being here and what life is going to be like now with not just one, but two little babies, two kids. So yeah, really excited, really anxious. I'm really ready to get it over with at the same time. And I mean that with, with all due respect, I want everything to go through smoothly and seamlessly and I'm just ready to meet her and I want to see like okay it's gonna be kind of weird when she first comes out like trying to figure out well who does she look like and da 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 you know that may not be like noticeable right away um but I don't know it's just it's been difficult especially this particular pregnancy because we have not been able to see the um like the 3d images and she's been very difficult to like, oh my gosh, my hair is out, y'all. I don't like that. She's been very difficult with us. She has not been wanting us to really see her. So she'll put her hand in her face. She'll do all kinds of stuff like that just so we don't see her. <laughs> so it's been, um, it's been very interesting to say the least. So, um, I don't know. In six days, we're going to find out. So... But I have so many things I have to do before she gets here that I've already kind of been working on. But I just have some last minute things we have to tie up I need some loose ends here. So um, it's going to be a, a work, a work in progress for sure. But I'm, again, looking forward to it. So I actually have to um, get ready to get ready. And you guys are going to come with me. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and get our day started.
Hey. Is that you crying? Bookie. Oh, I got you. It's okay. Yeah, you want Nana? Do you Nana? <laughs> what up, Stank? Stop! <laughs> Bear, you are Stank! Do you want me in my purest form or not? Why would you do that? You forced that out. I You're didn't gross. force anything. You did. Y'all, he's Stank. Tell him he's Stank. He's Stank. <laughs> no, I don't. I better not smell that. Ooh, well, clock you know now. I was just spray more Lysol. They don't smell. Ninety-three percent of them do not smell. But that sim. I think that percentage is way off, though. <laughs> like it's skewed. I think it's the other way around. You should have been asleep, man. <laughs> oh, oh, and that's my fault. Let's get this thing going. Let's get this thing going. Make sure I don't run over anybody. Go. Oh, it's a nice day out too. Oh crap! The birds are thugs. I am very happy about this visit in particular because this is the very last doctor's office visit before um, before I give birth. All these doctor's office visits every single week. Oof. Let me tell you. Sometimes can be a pain in the, you know what, it's not like it's super difficult to get, you know, hold on, get out of here. It's not like it's super difficult to get there and it's not like way far away from my house or anything, but it just bothers me because I have to go and meet up with them every week and it's like the same stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't get me wrong, I'm grateful to be able to go somewhere where I can, ha you know, I want to be able to check in on my baby and make sure she's good. But every week has been killing your girl. And then, on top of all of that, because I've had COVID while I was pregnant, you know, they just, they got to make extra double sure that it's all good. So, I guess I can't afford to complain, but you know me, I'm always going to complain anyway because that's what I do. Damn it. School zone, speed limits. Last week I went, everything was golden. This week, baby girl has been kicking and rolling and doing her thing. So, oh gosh, she has really been moving. So, um, you know, just measuring that, making sure she's all good. So, that's where we at right now. Regular speed limit, here I come. Skirt, skirt. All right, so finally made it to the hospital slash OBGYN. And um, I'm like, I'm on, no, I'm not on time. I'm actually late. <laughs> I'm really hoping and praying parking is not like ridiculous up in here because one thing I ain't trying to deal with. It always seems like no matter what time of day I come here, the parking is always awful. And on top of that, I'm pregnant, so it's like, hey man, I really don't want to have to walk a long ways. Well, I wonder if there's parking over there or not, but they, always, they make it where this is like one way. 
somebody getting out. I'd really appreciate it if somebody was getting out. Preferably somebody close. I don't even know why I made an afternoon appointment. They're always like, oh, well, the doctor is in the afternoon and parking isn't that bad. Says who? People who are here at like 7 in the morning? Oh, look at this cat. Why are you backing up? Yay, another parking area. Oh, hold on. Someone's getting out. Are they straightening up? Are you straightening up or are you getting out? Because you look like you're getting out. And it looks like I'm going to take your spot. Hold up. I know they don't have a whole bunch of available spots down here that I didn't see. What kind of? Oh, wow. We're just going to, like, park over here. I'm the worst driver sometimes. Oh, dang. Somebody took a dent out of that column. Yikes. Occasionally, I forget that I'm pregnant. So, I tend to step out of my vehicle super fast. Ugh. And I'm wearing this dress that almost makes me feel like I'm, like, borderline nude or something. Look at this dress I have. I'm going to show y'all real quick. Hold on. I should have brought my tripod, but I didn't. But this is the dress I'm wearing. Look at me showing a little leg. <laughs> I think we're doing an ultrasound today. I think we're doing... If I'm not mistaken, I think it's an ultrasound and a, um, what else is it? And a consultation with the doctor. This is the last visit, so I'm guessing anything goes. I'm just like ready to go ahead and get whatever we need to get taken care of, taken care of, and keep it pushing. Because me and my belly, we about ready to get, get over this. The next time I make a trip to TMH, which is the hospital that I'm at right now, will be when it's time to deliver. So we're going to get this taken care of real quick and easy. So let me get on in here. And I can tell you right here, right now, they're not going to allow filming in there. So I'm going to have to go to my visit and talk to y'all later. Okay, bye. Hey, how are you? All right. Here you go. Thanks so much. That was a very interesting visit. I um, met with the good old doctor. Actually, I had an ultrasound first. And then when I had an ultrasound, um, we were there for a long time. Like me and the, I don't know if she's a nurse or what it is, but for lack of a better word, I'm just going to call her a nurse. One of the employees, the young lady who was giving me the ultrasound, her and I were just, we were just running our mouths, honestly. It was like, it was, <laughs> we were just yapping about everything, like our families, everything. And so I wound up getting a ton of pictures because we were just having conversations, checking out baby girl Donaldson and um, got like 20 freaking photos, which was great. So, um, yeah, I did that. Then I went to go see my doctor and just got some things taken care of. This is the official last visit before baby girl arrives in five days. So I'm so excited. I'm like beyond excited. I want so bad to go shopping right now to go get some stuff for my daughter really to get some food for her but I mean she'd be eating with us anyway so anyway so that was a very cool visit I'm glad that we got that taken care of last doctor's office visit before she gets here and I'm so excited because I cannot wait to meet her like you have to understand I was looking at the ultrasound and every single week I swear this girl makes it so difficult on my life and she, she like always puts her hand up or she's always putting her face back where I can't really see her. I'm like, why do you do that? Like, I'm just trying to see you. Like, let me see that beautiful face, girl. All I can see are like cheeks and like pouty lips. Um, but I, that's all I can see. That's all she'll let me see. Like, she won't let me see nothing else. I'm like, let me see you. You know, I can see like our forehead sometimes, but my husband I was always like, you know she got your forehead, you know she got your forehead, 
I'm like, listen, first of all, do not be making fun of my five head because I already know what it is, okay? You say what you want to about your girl, but at least your girl is smart, okay? But yeah, I'm so happy to, like, to just be able to know, like, listen, in the next few days, you're going to be here, like, in my arms, live and in person, you know? I'm just, I'm ready for it. I'm ready to just cuddle her and coddle her and give her kisses. She's going to be like my daughter now. She's going to be like, oh, get away from me. Oh, my gosh. But I'm ready for it. I'm definitely ready for it. I'm so petty. I'm so petty, y'all. It'd be like, okay, so this person had, like, tried to be slick and cut me off right before we got to a red light. And the funny thing was is that somebody got slick and, like, cut him off. Like, right before. Like, it was like, and I'd be the main one in the back being like, oh, it don't feel so good now, huh? It don't feel so good. I am so ridiculously petty, and I love every moment of it. Anyway, so back to happy thoughts. I can't even bring myself to just imagine like what life is gonna be like with two kids now you know I mean we being all the way honest oof I've been feeling like I'm struggling with just one child now we're gonna have two oh but get it Ugh. better to go ahead and get it out of the way get those two kids out of the way and then be done then be like oh 17 years later we're talking about Going back to the drawing board again, like, nah, bruh, we ain't no spring chickens, so that ain't gonna happen. I'm just here to let you know. But, I will say this, um, a part of me, a part of me, a piece of a part of me is questioning about, like, you know, possibly getting my tubes tied. I, I think this is the route that we definitely want to take. I know some people might be like, girl, if you think, then this is not for you. You shouldn't be doing that. But I just don't see us going another round. I feel like I, I am in my prime, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like we're, we're just starting off. We're just starting this journey. So I don't see us doing this and in another year and a half or so having another baby I just don't my husband and I are in agreement that like two is enough we're good you know whatever whatever but this just needs to be it because listen I say if we wanted more kids we really should have just tried it when we were younger <laughs> you know what I'm saying but at this stage in the game I'm 36 he's 42 it's like yeah I, I, I say we're about done Oh, Starbucks is right there. No, wait, Starbucks is not there. Starbucks is there. I'm going to be good. I'm going to be good. I'm not going to go to Starbucks. Look <laughs> how <laughs> high her pants are. That's ridiculous. Big Farrah, let's look at you from the front. <laughs> Look at the twins. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Hello, y'all. It is Thursday night, and I'm in a lot of pain. I don't know if it had anything to do with when I was at the doctor's office earlier. And, you know, when you go through the ultrasounds, you have to lay down on your back and stuff like that. But I had to lay down and my back is killing me my butt is killing me my hips are killing me and it sucks because i can't sleep on my stomach or on my back so i can only sleep on my sides right yeah 
So with my hips killing me, it's very interesting. I try to get sleep, but there's like a lot of tossing and turning. But yeah, your girl's definitely feeling the pain. I'm going to bed. I'll see y'all tomorrow. tonight that we're going to and I want to look good so I might stop in and see if I can find a dress for tonight if I can't I have a dress but I don't know if I can fit it because my belly size I might stop into Best Buy to see if I can grab something but it'll be after I get my hair done because I ain't trying to go all over the world with this bonnet on. Typical black chick just walking around with a bonnet. I'm not trying to be that chick. Got some simple curls, nothing to... Uh-oh. See, I knew that's what was going on. Camera stand, it got so hot in here. But anyway, so I got these little curls. I got my little flyaways happening right now, but... It's all good because I'm probably just going to wind up putting it in a nice little cute ponytail later. Little cute messy ponytail. But anyway, the lady who does my hair, her name is Tamar. And she is everything. I hope I didn't mispronounce her name. I don't think I did. But phenomenal tresses over here off Lafayette and ten on, in Tallahassee. Um, she does absolutely positively amazing, amazing, amazing work. So, if y'all are in need of that kind of service, please come hit her up because she's got gifted hands. I'm not even lying. Right now, we are headed to the house. It's 3.30. My dinner is, like I said before, it's at 6 o'clock. I just do not see myself getting ready ready like I want to. Like the full face and all that. I really wanted time to do that. Because I want to look super cute for my dinner. But 
I don't really think that's gonna happen because time is flying and I would want to leave the house at five which is an hour, which is in an hour and a half and to really get my face like together together takes at least two hours so I don't think we're gonna do all that but I don't know I might do like a lift or something we'll see we shall see but either way I'm gonna be cute so I'm not worried about it <laughs> So the reason why I did not film last night when we got back, I didn't film during the dinner because I actually forgot to vlog during the dinner. And I was also taking care of my daughter. So when I was taking care of her, like I, you know, it's just, she was on my phone too. So that's what made it also more difficult to vlog. But I literally did forget to vlog. So between like, trying to play hostess with my friends and tend to her and all that it just it didn't happen so it is what it is when we got back i i had everything ready to vlog but i wasn't in a good mood i'm gonna keep it real i was like real nasty like in terms of like not to anybody else but i just was tired i was just i'm like <laughs> I don't know maybe it's just i'm gonna just blame it on the pregnancy that's what i always do I'm like you know i don't know what's wrong with me so i'm just gonna blame it on the pregnancy but i really just think that's what was going on because i'm to a point that now i'm like at nine months you know i am she'll now be here the day after tomorrow which is still unbelievable for me to even you know like believe but um it's unbelievable <laughs> um and She's, you know, it's like right around the corner. It's like close enough, but not close enough. I just want to meet her. I'm anxious. I'm over being pregnant, to be honest with you. And I, don't get me wrong, I take every day as a blessing. I'm just really, I guess, also ready to get back to me. I'm so freaking tired all the time. I'm tired of being tired. I'm sick of being tired. I'm tired of being sick. You know, I'm just like, my back is killing me. My hips are killing me. And I'm just like, I'm over a lot of stuff. And it's causing me to like lose my temper. I'm just becoming really moody, which is not me. I'm not a moody person. I'm usually just like, whatever, like chill. But I was like on 10 last night. I was just like, listen, like I don't even want anyone to bother me. Just everybody go to bed and or do what you do, mind your business and just leave me alone. Cause I'm just I'm just not here for it. The dinner was garbage, and even if you didn't really do anything to me, I still felt irritated. I didn't really get a chance to like socialize with my friends like I wanted to because of where I chose to sit, which was not like I said I, I just didn't think about it. So it's like I had more fun when it was after the dinner and we were all like talking when we were getting in our cars and things like that. Like I had more fun doing that because I got a chance to talk to everybody, which I didn't have that chance when we were sat down because I sat at the end. So there was that. And I don't know, like, you know how just, sometimes you get in a mood where you just, you feeling real stank, but you just don't want, you just wanna be stank. Just let me be mad. Let me go do this. Let me just like, let this run, it, let this run its course. You know what I'm saying? Let me just have this moment where I can just be upset. I just want to be upset. And let me get through this and I'm going to get over it and I'm going to be good. But I just let me have this moment in time. So I needed to have that moment and go to sleep and really just sleep on it. Because I knew that if I filmed yesterday with the mood that I had, you know, the mood that I was wearing, I knew that... I would probably delete that footage because that's not normally who I am and some people might come back and say well you know what that's just how we get and that's the real that's that's real you know you were upset you were upset you were feeling some type of way but I just didn't like it because I felt like it was coming from a place of being nasty and I didn't feel like I, that was it's not a representation of me but I didn't want to look like that I didn't want to feel that way I didn't want to be reminded of how I felt I just wanted last night to just be over and done with. I, you know, I agreed to, like, 
get this together and get it organized because I just wanted something as a last hoorah for all of me and my friends before I get <laughs> locked down. I'm not going to be able to really do anything for a while. I say this as I'm on my way to brunch right now with a girlfriend, but this is really the last hoorah because I have no intention of doing anything tomorrow. That is it. So that's just what we're going to do. We're just going to brunch it up today, me and my girl. We're going to brunch it up today and then um, tomorrow I'm just going to chill out. And this is not all the gifts, right? Oh boy. Man, we tell people, and we're very specific about diapers only and wipes. <laughs> they are not playing. Got all kinds of sizes, too. I love it. Hmm? Oh, it feels so good in here. Oh. This should be fun. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, okay. Okay, hang on. We can do this. Me and my big old belly. <sighs> oh, sweet baby Jesus. The time is now 12, excuse me, 10 o'clock. We're late. We're late. I, I don't think I've learned anything in two years. <laughs> I'm dry, dry, dry. So can't put no deodorant on, no perfume, no powders, no oils, no. <laughs> I'm saying I can't put no moisturizer on. I can't put no vitamin E oil. <laughs> it's real out here in these streets. I'm like, I can't even have nail polish. I wanted to go get my nails done the other day. And I was like, dang, I forgot I can't have polish on. And I'm sure that's just like a safety precaution because obviously where they're going to be cutting is nowhere near my fingers. But I was like, just to be on the safe side, no polish. I don't even have polish on my toes. You're so excited. Are we matching? Oh my goodness, we're like matching. I didn't realize that. Pretty cool. Rolling on up. Number of visitors not restricted. Good to know. Do I need to take anything light or? No, I just bring your bags. Hmm? No, I just bring your bags. Okay, thank you, love. All right. Here we go. Who needs alcohol when you have this? There you go. <laughs> Body feeling hot and cold at the same time. Hot and cold. That's all right. So no back pain. That's a plus. Yeah. What's going on over there? What are we missing? Nothing yet. Nothing. They're separating all the layers to get down to the uterus. Right. Oh man. Making on the alternator. We're gonna the alternator. Oh, I saw oh, that smell. Oh my goodness. I know. It's the smell of burnt flesh. Yeah. Yummy. Yummy. Right? Yummy. <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. Yes, yes, yes. Still chugging and pulling, okay? Mm hmm. Not quite go time yet. So, not so much dark as this. Because I've been, I've been, I was the one that did a previous surgery, so it's a little. Yeah. I must have done it right. Okay. Don't need this. It's good to know. Okay. Yeah. Is it Uber? Uh, 
Yeah, we're gonna have oh. a baby now. Okay. I need something to grab. <laughs> hey, you doing? 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 Hey, you doing?
and drink us some milk. Drink us some milky. Thank you. 